Are you looking for a card craft for kids that is also a science experiment? Well, I have got you covered with my LED card experiment. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Calandrelli, MIT engineer and host of Emily's Wonder Lab. And on my channel, we learn about all things space and science. So grab your LEDs and your markers because we're about to make a card like you've never seen before. Emily's Science Lab, stay curious and keep it Today, I'm going to teach you how to make an LED light up card. I have made this very easy for you. There are a bunch of different templates for many different occasions that you would want a card for in my caption. And what you want to do is use that template and print on cardstock double sided. This is the science part of our LED light up card. This is actually a circuit, and I'm going to walk you through how to make it step by step. So here is our circuit, okay? This is going to be powering our LED that is going to light up our card. And let me show you what each piece is. So right here, this is our battery. What you're going to need is a three volt watch battery. And right here it says positive side facing up. So we eventually are going to put this right here just like this. Now this is our copper. Copper is a great conductor, which means electrons can move easily through it. It's kind of like a sea of electrons. And when we close our circuit, our battery is going to provide that current. It's going to provide the sea of electrons that are going to move along our copper highway. And eventually we're going to put our LED right here. And the LED is going to be powered by our electrons. And so the watch is going to provide the electrons. They're going to move along the copper tape and then they're going to move into one side of our LED and out the other, and it's going to light up our LED. But here's the thing. Look at the circuit right now. What do you notice? It's not closed. What we need to do is close this circuit. And how do we do that? Well, if we look on the other side of our paper, you'll notice these little gray dots here. And everywhere you see this gray dotted line is where you're going to bend your paper. So eventually, after we make our circuit, we're going to bend this over and that piece of copper tape is going to connect with your battery and boom, close your circuit. Now to make your LED light up card, you're going to need my template, some copper tape, some scotch tape, a three volt watch battery, an LED and a thumbtack. Now, because we are using a thumbtack, make sure we're exercising caution here and parents and adults, just be very careful with little kids and pets with your watch battery. The first thing you wanna do is measure your copper tape because we're gonna lay down our copper tape everywhere where you see these yellow rectangles. And this peels off just on the back, revealing a sticky side underneath. Lay it down here, like, just like that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and measure this one. Place it right on our yellow rectangle there. Perfect. Now I'm going to place our watch battery. Now here's a trick. The LED only works in one direction. You'll notice that one leg is longer and one leg is shorter. The longer end wants to connect with the positive end of your battery. If you switch it and connect the longer end to the negative side of your battery, watch what happens. It doesn't work. But when I flip it around, voila! It works. So make sure that you are placing this in the right direction. I made it very easy for you on my template here. So let's put our LED in first. So what you wanna do is flip over your card and look at that little X. That X is where your LED goes. Use your thumbtack and just make a hole where the X is. Now, we're going to put in our LED, stick those little legs inside the hole you just made. Just like that. Now we're going to make sure our shorter leg goes on the short end and our longer leg goes on the longer end. So just bend those down and make sure there's a good connection with our copper tape. Because sometimes if your LED is not working, it's because those legs are not in contact with that copper tape, so the electrons cannot move through them. So we're going to tape this down really securely right over the copper tape. That works really well. Just 
push it down, make sure it's connected to the copper tape. Now we'll do the other one. And finally, we're going to put our watch battery down. So make sure the positive end is facing up. You can see the little plus sign right on this end. So we're going to make the positive end facing up. And in that way, the longer end when we connect it is going to touch the positive end of the battery. Because the negative end is on this side, that's going to touch the shorter end of our LED right there. So here's the other tip. You do not want to completely tape over your battery because then the connection with the copper tape will not be able to touch the battery. So you have to just tape the top like this, a little bit of the top, and then a little bit of the bottom, leaving room for the copper tape to make a connection. Just like that. And if you want to really secure it down, you can add some tape to the tape, just like that. Now the final step is closing our circuit. The way we do that is we bend along the dotted line, just like so, I can already see it working. These are so cool. Now we're going to bend our card this way, again, along the dotted line. Look at that, it's already working. And so, right now, because it's not fully touching the battery, it's not working, but look, press for a wish. Da, 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 da. How cool, look at that. And so you can just do this over and over and over again until your watch battery runs out of juice, but that won't be for a long time. So these will keep for quite a while, a little over a year. I mean, I guess depending on how many wishes you make. Thank you for making LED light up cards with me. If you like this one, be sure to check out my best selling, Stay Curious and Keep Exploring book series for 99 more science experiments. I'm Emily Calandrelli, subscribe for all things science and space. And remember, stay curious and keep exploring. I'll see you next time. Emily's science lab.